What's up, my wizards? It's Dev, back again from Strictly Better MTG. I'm just here today to do like a quick little video. Um, sort of, I hate to use the word commemorating because it sounds pretentious, but I've been playing Magic for 20 years this year, so this gives me a little opportunity, um, sort of as a new channel, to share a little bit of, um, our cred, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Um, but yeah, 20 years of playing Magic, and I just kind of wanted to, um, just share a little bit of a story, just five minutes or so, um, about what it's like to play Magic for 20 years of your life. Um, I'm 31 now, so that means that for two-thirds of my life, I've been playing this really awesome game. So, um, yeah, it started um, when I was like 11 years old. Uh, my father passed away. A bummer way to start the story, but there was another kid in school. Um, my name's Devin. His name was Kevin, which is kind of weird, but his dad passed away just a couple of weeks before mine, and he kind of reached out to me and was like, hey, you know, if you want to hang out sometime, that would be cool, you know, if you want to be friends. And um, ended up hanging out with him, and he introduced me to Magic, which I, like, instantly loved because I had always uh, collected sports cards, like, all sports, uh, throughout my childhood. And I always, like, fantasy stuff. Like, Final Fantasy was, the first one, was, like, one of the top, the first five games that I ever played. And uh, I used to play Final Fantasy with my dad a lot, actually, and um, all of them up to that point. And so, like, I really, really, really got into this this game, and Magic sort of, like, it meant a lot to me because it helped sort of ease the pain um, of that time of my life, of my father's passing, and it was something I thought, like, maybe he would be into if he was still around, and, like, I don't know, it was just, it was just really, really cool for me at that particular time in my life. It was, like, exactly the right time to be introduced to magic and it's it's stuck with me and it's been something that's been important to me for a really long time ever since then it's just kind of formed a bond with it in a lot of ways um so yeah it's it's not really a dependency but it's something that like just always makes me feel better uh, it's, it's been with me through you know heartache and all through high school um uh, all the way up up to now it's been with me through a lot of of, of issues i had a party phase you know um and all different things. It's it's always been with me. So yeah, and over 20 years, I've like I've sold my entire collection like half a dozen times. Um, like moxes and time walks have passed through my hands that back then were like 60 bucks and still seem like insurmountably, impossibly expensive to me back then when I was like 14. You know. And um, I've, I've, like, I've traded like 20 some odd tool lands that, some of which I pulled out of like $4 packs of third edition, it's that long ago, like, and like, I've, I've played like a hundred different decks in standard and probably close to a thousand different decks on like kitchen tables and coffee tables and, and in bars and restaurants and in comic shops and stuff. It's, it's been a lot of fun, man. And I've, I've met, I've, I've met a lot of people through this game, like, I, some of the best friendships of my entire life, like, I've known a few people for, like, over a decade, like, I roomed with a couple of guys in college that I played Magic with, um, it's, Tony, who, uh, you've seen on the set review videos, um, I didn't meet him through Magic, we just both happened to play Magic, and we got together, and, like, he's, he's, like, one of the best people ever, he's got a heart of gold, he's a really great person, and, a lot of the people I've known who played Magic have, like, never screwed me over or been jerks or anything like that. They're genuinely good, honest, rational people. And they're not... A lot of Magic players aren't, like, everyday assholes, for lack of a better term. Like, there really are some compassionate, nice uh, people who play this game. I, if it weren't for Magic, I, I wouldn't have met my wife, the, the love of my life. Um, because I met her through people that... I played Magic with, uh, oddly enough, um, and, like, just think about that, like, I'm, I'm married to an amazing, beautiful woman, and I would not be, I would not have met her if it weren't for this game, so, uh, it's, just thank you, uh, thank you, Wizards, thank you, I, I really, I can't say enough, like, there's, over 20 years, like, every new set that comes out I'm still excited for because the game is so malleable and you can do so many different things with it and it's such an easy-to-learn system, but it's, it's one of those easy-to-learn, difficult-to-master, and there's 
there's so many things over the years that Wizard has has Wizard has made people excited for, and things that are iconic, and just this whole community that's built around just this little card game. But it means so much to so many people, and I'm, I guess I'm one of those people. And yeah, it, it wouldn't if it weren't so important to me, I wouldn't have stuck around for 20 years through so many different uh, format changes and you know, bannings and restrictings and, and, and lots of different things. Uh, just, I, I can't begin to say all the different history of magic in a few minutes. So, yeah, that was just a quick little, you know, I've been playing magic for 20 years now and it's always been a part of my life since I was a child. And, you know, um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much, Wizards. I don't think that, I don't know if you guys hear it enough, but you guys have been an awesome part of my life. And I really appreciate that. And I know it probably sounds really nerdy, but there's going to be a couple of people who get it. And lately, the last couple of years, I think there are more and more people, oddly, who get it. So returning players and people who are really dedicated to this game for, for what it is, you know. And I think it's more than a game for a lot of people because of a lot of what I just said. I've established a lot of incredible relationships, like Social Link Level 10 all the way up with this Persona joke, if you get that at all. If anyone gets that, let me know. By the way, trailer for Persona 5 is out. It looks amazing, so go check that out. Anyway, so yeah, I think I'm done for now. Um, appreciate you for watching. Um, remember, we've got like top five videos coming up. we got set reviews. Um, we talk about MTG news and stuff like that, so subscribe to our channel. We are Strictly Better MTG, and it's our goal to make you Strictly Better because, you know, we love you. So tune in for more content. I've got a top five video coming up. Top, well, actually, it's, this one's going to be top seven decks of all time, uh, sort of my personal preference. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your card shop peoples and all that. So we appreciate you. And we'll see you next time, guys. Thank you. And thank you, Wizards.